All right. Good morning. I'm Yanni the Greek coming to you live straight from Las Vegas. It's Friday, November 8th. Big weekend ahead. We got UFC tomorrow night, college basketball, college football, NFL Sunday, NHL, NBA. A lot going on. And of course, you know, the occasional soccer or uh, tennis play. So I got a lot to share with you guys. And of course, as always, head on over to Greek underscore gambler on Twitter and Instagram. And more importantly, go to Greek underscore gambler seven underscore gambler seven on TikTok because I'm going to be firing some TikTok lives. I did it earlier in the week, just the test. And it's going to happen tomorrow because when we go to halftime of college football, NFL, I get a lot of good information. We do a lot of damage on those second half team totals and second half sides and totals, but I'm unable to share those because they're time sensitive. So we can't send them out to subscribers. It's not even available in the system. So I ended up betting them and moving them for the groups I work with, but then I can't share them. But being able to go on TikTok live now that we have enough followers, I'm just going to jump on there at half times of college football, half times of NFL during MMA, if I have something, I'm going to jump on. I'll try to give a, a warning here or there on Twitter, uh, but make sure Greek underscore gambler on Instagram, Greek underscore gambler seven on TikTok, and you won't miss all that free gold. Now, with that said, we had an election earlier in the week. The world is still standing. We'll see how that turns out. Bitcoin flying, all the... Uh, Risk assets are slowly but surely going through the roof. Be careful. I'm going to urge uh, one bit of advice. They're paper gains until you cash out. It's kind of like the casino. In fact, it's exactly like the casino. Until you cash those chips out, they're still the casinos. They're still the casinos. Until you cash out that profit, it's just on paper. It's only on paper. So make sure... You take those gains. No one ever went broke taking a profit. Words to live by. Nobody ever went broke taking a profit, but they have gone broke getting greedy, waiting for more profit. Um, so yeah, I, I think it'll get the six figures. Why not? But with everybody thinking it's getting the six figures, that's when usually shit doesn't work out that way. But with that out of the way, let's get into the action. That's why you're here. And more importantly, I'm going to take a minute to talk about this, but we'll do it Sunday in the steam room in more detail but it's got to come down to, to money management. Again, not enough betters talk about that, especially in 2024 with social media gambling and stuff. Everyone wants picks and same game parlays and, and winners and all that shit. But unless you're able to manage risk correctly, it doesn't matter. Like you could have winning information and still go broke. In fact, I'm the perfect example. I was a mover on the strip. This is nothing I'm ashamed of. I had access to the best information, but I managed to lose money because I didn't know how to use it, how to bet it. Risk management is key. Remember that. You need 400 units, 400 units just to be at a 20% risk of ruin. That's with an edge, meaning you have a, a sample size of three to 5,000 bets that have turned the profit, which makes you now a favorite to be able to repeat that over the next three to 5,000. If you did that, Okay, where you know you're plus EV, you now need 400 units to have a 20% risk of ruin, which simply means with that edge, you will double your bankroll eight out of 10 times, but you will also lose it two out of 10 times. And it may be in the first time. It doesn't mean you're going to double it four or five times before you lose it that once. You can lose it that once on the initial shot. That's what, why money management is so key. And that's for 400 units. I think very few recreational players, betters are working with 400 units, meaning that they have a $4,000 bankroll and they're only betting $10 units. So let's say they're betting, you know, 1X to 5X, like I do. I 1X to 5X and they're going $10 to $50, 10 to 50. To have a 20% risk of ruin, they need $4,000. How many betters out there with four dimes are betting $10 units? Let's be honest. The betters with a dime with a thousand dollars aren't betting ten dollar units. I mean, I talk to guys all the time in the sports book. Oh, I'm betting three hundred dollars on a game. I ask them what their role is. They say two dimes. It's twenty five hundred dollars. They're betting three. They're betting over ten percent of their bankroll on a bet, dude. You got a ninety five percent, ninety nine percent risk of ruin. You will go broke. 
regardless of how good you are at doing this, it's not going to help you. So please, I didn't take five minutes out of wasting time where I could have been promoting, wasting time when I could have been selling gold, sharing gold. So talk about money management. Look, my hand ditches. You know what that means. It means you're going to get money. It means you're going to get money. It's superstitious. Come on. What well, gamblers aren't superstitious? Um, so yeah, yeah. Money management is key. So with that out of the way, we took our five minutes. I'm going to give you some gold, gold, gold. Let's get the college basketball for tonight. College basketball for tonight. 866 Santa Clara minus five from three and a half all the way to minus five. 852 Mississippi State from 19 and a half all the way up to 21 and a half. VCU minus nine and a half and minus 10 and 10 and a half. 871 Northern Colorado plus 14, 13 and a half plus 13. Uh, what else do I got? Oh, Murray State and Pitt over 147, over 148. Now let's go down to some of those extra boards, the 306, 506 games. Duke, 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 blasting Duke, 32, 32 and a half, 33, 33 and a half, 34. So the syndicates love the Duke side tonight. Also, St. Joseph's all the way up to minus 17. East Tennessee State all the way up to minus 12. And uh, UMass Lowell where the great uh, Mickey, uh, what's his name? That fall, uh, Ward, Ward, Ward. That's it, Mickey Ward uh, is from all the way up to minus 10 and a half there. Now, Got some college football to give you for Saturday. Actually, looking at one of the bots right now. Here's what they bet. They bet Rice plus eight. They bet Oklahoma minus three. And they bet UCLA plus six. So that's 117 Rice plus eight. 120 UCLA plus six. 159 Oklahoma minus three. They also have a, a teaser in, in the NFL with the Kansas City Chiefs at minus two and a half. And the Chargers at minus one and a half. So they are Wong teasers. But you know how we do them. We do Wong 2.0. 2.0. That's how our teasers are up over 20 positions so far in 2024. So $100 betters up over 2,000. A nickel betters up over 10,000. And a dime betters up over $20,000. Boom, free money. Don't worry, I'm going to share those again. I'll give them out on Sunday. I'll give them out on Sunday, uh, like usual. Now, what else do I have in college football? Oh, two of the, ba- two of the key big games, big games. Betting syndicate got on both road favorites here. They got on Georgia at two and a half over Ole Miss, and they got on Alabama minus two and a half over LSU. I like the Alabama side. I really do. I'd be laying three on Alabama as well. Now, let's talk some uh, Saturday MMA. Saturday MMA. I'm going to give you a dog. I'm going to give you a dog that I talked about on Wager Talk TV. Uh, good friend and uh, one of the guys I work with who is an originator in MMA, came in on a side that I already liked. So I released that to subscribers with Antonio Tricoli over Tracy and Gore. Reason is simple, man. There's a lot of recency bias. Tricoli's coming off that loss to Shar Bullet. It was about, closed about plus 480, plus 500, depending on where you shop. Again, not expected to win that fight. Here he's going to have a five-inch reach advantage against an opponent who has not fought in over two years. And more importantly... He's 0-2 as a UFC favorite, okay? He's got one win in the UFC against an 0-1 opponent. This is his fourth fight. He hasn't beaten anyone in the UFC that's got a UFC win. There's no reason he should be upwards of a 160 favorite. This is much closer to a coin flip. So I like the Antonio Tricoli side. I gave that out already. I got a a handful of of plays for tomorrow's uh, UFC card. I, I really like a couple sides, may even fire 5%. I'm really close to, to zeroing in that 5%. And I got a, a couple uh, round totals, a couple round totals that I really like, but got to watch the way in to confirm a few things. Um, and uh, then we'll move on from that. Now, a couple college, I mean, NFL, like I said, we're only going to Wong closer to the close. That's the goal. But uh, a couple, so let's go through this slate real fast. And again, come to the steam room on Sunday. We'll go through every game. And I've been getting those props that have crushed it. We hit another prop on the Thursday night football yesterday. Um, that's all we bet. We didn't bet a side. We didn't bet a total. We came in on a prop. I told you, it's only plus EV. I'm already training for 1-1-2025. One, one, that's when you're going to see Ace, Ace, pulling it out from under the sleeve. Sign up for 2025. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Forget about it. I have a 10-year sample size of results. And uh, yeah, we're mapped out a really, 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 really exciting game plan for 2025. Um, 
Now what else can I get? Oh, NFL. That's what I was talking about. Bills, Colts, Bills, Colts, two way action there. One of the guys that I work with has me looking for four and a halves on the Colts. Another group that I'm actually the bot that I moved for laid the points with the Bills. So you got a little two way action, two way disagreement there. Um, but both sharps depend this uh agree on the under in that Buffalo uh Indianapolis game, which is why we're looking at 46. In fact, I'll tell you now, I released the subscribers as a four percent play on under 47, under 47 in that Bills Colts game. What else can I share with you? Vikings, Jag, it's gonna come down. Obviously, Trevor Lawrence ain't playing. That's now up to seven. It was three. The look ahead was three, three and a half. It was four, four and a half earlier in the week. Rumblings, Lawrence won't play. Most expected it would go to a touchdown. I think it's a little bit higher than it should be. I'll tell you that now. Uh, not too sure the drop-off, the drop-off should be that high. We'll see. Still going to do a little work there. Also, Commanders and the Steelers talked about that on Wager Talk today. Two-way sharp action. One group likes to lay the two and a half. The other wants to take the three at even money. So it shows you just how tight these NFL lines are. We saw one of those pump fakes in uh, Tampa Bay and the 49ers. Listen, key numbers, they're going to eat those up. And that's what they did with the Tampa Bay side, taking that seven and a half, taking that seven, seven, even money, seven, 10 minus seven minus 20. Um, but that big adjustment down the five ended up getting slapped the other way. So you saw some Niners gold come in Niners at minus five there. Uh, what else? Oh, they were picking off some Titans at eight. They were looking for eight on the Titans. Um, that's why you see that number at seven right now, but no one's bit at seven. The guys that I work with, at least they said eight, they wanted eight. They wanted eight at minus 110 and uh, just was not able to grab that for them. What else do I have? Oh, Jets Cardinals, Jets Cardinals. That line has flipped. Now the Jets are favored because of sharp money. It's not one of those setups I've talked about in the past where when they're able to manipulate the board and it's sitting around one, one and a half. They'll work it so you get plus money on both sides. So they'll bet the dog at plus money. When it flips, they'll bet the other side now plus money too. So you got, you know, money at plus 105 on fight uh, team A, team B at plus 105, regardless who wins. Not a bad bet, right? Not a bad bet. What do you make? Two and a half percent ROI, just like that. Free money, no risk. Why wouldn't you do that? Who wouldn't do that for free money? Um, but that's not happening here. That's not happening here. And at least not right now, not right now. Um, right now, it has been legit on the Jets side. In fact, taking the money line on the Jets at plus, laying the pick, laying the one, and laying the money line as well. So a lot of Jets love there on the road against Arizona. How can we not talk about the Sunday night game before we uh, wrap up? Detroit Lions, man. I mean, they have just been outperforming every metric available. Like they have to regress to the mean unless this is the best team in the history of NFL, they will regress towards the mean. Um, and I think that's why this line hasn't really shot up, even though the lines are going to get so much one-sided public money and a lot of risk for the books. Um, but I do know at plus four, there was some takers. There were some takers on Houston. It's a big game for them at home. Big home game for the Houston Texans with Detroit coming to town primetime on Sunday night football. Uh, so that's why you're seeing the three and a halfs. That's why you're seeing the three and a half. So uh, don't forget, I got a 5% in the NFL. We're five, one and one on those. Got a nice card for UFC. Again, sitting number one in profit in MMA over double digit return on investment. Forget about it, like stealing. And uh, also the huge 309 card is up next. Uh, I already have a 5% planned out for next Saturday. So yeah, jump on board on MMA. We're going to close out this year as strong as possible. And don't forget college football. College football firing my first 5% in a number of weeks. So uh, I got a lot planned for you guys this weekend. Let's do some damage. And uh, don't forget, I'm on your side, baby. I hope you cash them. Don't trash them. Head on over to Greek underscore gambler. I will come back to check every single comment. Make sure you smash that like button. Try to share this for me. Keep this going. Get those views up so I could come back and do it again next week. Maybe twice to get you out ahead of the market early. This week, I had to do a couple UFC on the lines and uh, just was a little bit busy. But that's going to do it for this week. Guys, have a great day. Do some damage. God bless. God bless.